Just a few days ago, Junkers Flugzeugwerk announced great news. Right now, they are working on a successor for the famous Junkers Ju-52, nicknamed Tante Ju. The original version was designed in 1930 in Germany and thousands of them were built in the World War II era. Now it's time to redesign this legendary early three-engined passenger plane. Stay tuned. The Junkers Ju-52 is one of the most famous commercial airplanes from before World War II Europe. It was designed by the Junkers Flugzeug and Motorenwerke, which means airplane and engine manufacturer, in the early 1930s as a single engine freighter for rural areas. Later, Lufthansa made them design a three-engine version as a passenger plane. In a similar configuration, it was also used by Nazi Germany's and Spanish military. Until the mid-1940s, the Ju-52 was one of the most successful passenger planes in Europe. In the following decades, the number of airworthy airplanes sank constantly. Today, there are just two Ju-52s still flying. More than 90 years later, Junkers Flugzeugwerk is now in Swiss possession and based in Wiedner am Bodensee, near the Swiss-German-Austrian border. They have already redesigned and built several airplanes made by the original Junkers company, like the F-13 and the A-50. In late April 2022, the company announced the until now biggest project, the redesign of Junkers flagship, the Ju-52. The new version will be named Ju-52 New Generation or perhaps Ju-52 NG and there will be several major upgrades. The most obvious upgrade are the engines. Instead of the original BMW 132 radial engines, the new version will be powered by brand new, highly efficient V12 engines made by RED Aircraft in Germany. This decision was heavily criticized in the internet, even though the new engines mean a huge step forward in aviation technology. Another, from the outside less visible, upgrade will be the cockpit. The simple cockpit design that was equipped with a steering wheel just like in cars instead of the yoke will be replaced by new electronic systems including a modern autopilot, most probably made by Garmin. This plane itself will be flown by two main crew consisting of a captain and a first officer. Structural improvements will make the new generation of the well-known Ju-52 almost 2 metric tons lighter. It will weigh just about 8.6 metric tons in the end. There are several versions of the new Ju-52 plant. The passenger version will be large enough to carry 14 passengers, most likely in a 1-1 configuration. A light freighter version will be also possible. The new Ju-52 will be built for specific usage. Due to its abilities to land on small, unpaved runways and its stall abilities, it is quite possible to see the legendary German airplane flying in locations far away from the population or on small islands and by aviation enthusiasts who have the necessary money to buy an airplane of its kind. Most likely we'll see the new Junkers Ju-52 in the mid-2020s for the first time in the air. Soon after, they will start selling it all over the world. We hope the best for this new project and hope that we'll see a new built Junkers Ju-52 as soon as possible flying.